old school operator so i think it makes sense also not to make it in python but to switch back to the t script so that way it will be much much more understandable so dollar x uh, dollar y and dollar z is actually the position in xyz we can define the minimum and maximum bounds and we can use divisions for triangulation or for splitting that geometrical function into surface if we take a closer look for the helpline, if we select that operator, we can find that the isosurface SOAP uses simplicity function to create 3D visualization of uh, isometric surfaces found in the grade 12 functions and relations textbook. So I think it makes sense to Google for that book and look for their functions or just to Google for isometric surface 3D functions. Kinect. Uh, is not very usable it's supposed to use the to, to to generate the point cloud directly in sub context from the kinect version one sensor which no one currently uses and uh, similarly we have a z soap which can generate geometry from z camera which i was uh, I, which i will show in the level 103 in the corresponding course department limit we know already line is just for generating lines then metaball that's is interesting so metaball is a very wide used in goudini and touch designer for forces because metaball is actually a force function and if we create a metaball and then, for example, we can use a circle and use that points to copy the metaball over the circle points. We will generate the isosurface as a common force field of that metaball force. So let's change, for example, let's make the point radius here so at scale and for example i can make the expression tdu dot rand from me dot input point index so we can randomize the radius so all metaballs will be copied with different radius so we can see how that geometry is uh, generated from the different radiuses of metaballs and it has built-in four kernel functions so we can use different force fields for generation of that geometry it has also x y and z exponent which can generate different shape of meta balls so we can change radius or we can change a force weight which can create a very interesting geometries okay that's is a meta ball example and a uh, small addition if we want so that's meta ball the result of meta ball will be quite similar to iso surface because it's also generated by function and then divided by cross sections so in order to control the density of geometry we can use a convert soap to convert that geometry to polygons and then using the u level of details we can make it more or less dense and actually using the poly reduce we can try to optimize the geometry to make it less dense but still have a nice surface so okay that has 1322 polygons and 
looks almost the same like that with 13,000 polygons. So that's a good example how we can adjust the geometry generated by metaballs for the touch designer real-time rendering. And actually the same pipeline belongs to the as a surface we can use poly reduce to optimize that shape later. Let's finish with the generators object uh, okay oculus rift and open vr we will not cover now raster can convert the pixels to the geometry so let's try to load the movie file in and use the raster and show what happens so that will generate that kind of geometry so for every pixel of geometry it will generate a point with the corresponding color it has a, a lot of points and only one polygon and that polygon is a long long line which will go like a scan line so basically that raster operator is designed for convert the raster information to the scan lines of laser it's relatively fast i would say so maybe we can even use that for something completely different like for uh, convert optical flow for the particle simulation just fresh idea i got right now so i have to make an experiment rectangle is quite easy just a simple way to generate a rectangle later which can be used as a geometry a generator as a filter as well select can just select the sops from any other context like in any touch designer context sphere you know already sprite is very interesting that is somehow similar to limit operator in one difference it generates sprites which are oriented to camera so let's for example make a circle and convert that circle to, to chops then we can use that data to as a samples and then that operator will generate some polygons now we can try to adjust the orientation of that polygons to some camera so let's make a default touch designer camera and drop it to the camera parameter so now all sprites are oriented to that camera position so if i move that camera they will look to the camera frontally and we have a bunch of additional parameters so using chops we can control weave color and alpha so that's is another approach to generate geometries based on chops data super quad is another mathematical function generator and here we have uh, it's similar to the uh, sphere but we have the additional x y and z exponent so it's something in between meta ball and sphere and here we can define what kind of geometry we're going to create if it will be a mesh or polygon geometry and we can use x y exponent and z exponent to control the shape then we have rows and columns so that way we can create a super quad geometry text is very easy it's text you know it already trace can be used to convert the top to the geometry but on completely different way than rasters do so it makes a polygon based on alpha threshold or on luminance threshold and it has some built-in optimization in filter parameters so we can make a spline curve using fit to curve we can control the resampling based on the step size 
to optimize the shape. We can smooth shape. We can delete whole faces. So that has a bunch of parameters which can adjust the generated shape. What else? We have a tube which can generate tubes. And that's all about the generators.